The next one is men, most men don't want flowers. This was a, this keeps coming up in our community where women are like, Hey, I want to send this guy flowers. And this goes back to what we were talking about earlier, where I was talking about projection of things, right? Like some guys, I mean, it's, you know, if you get a fly, if you're a guy and you get a flower from a woman, you're like, like, cool. Like, that's really awesome. Like, thank you so much. But it's not like, I don't know what women experience when they receive flowers. And I, I was mentioning this in one of the other live streams. I was walking down the street the other day and I was, I was listening to these two guys that were next to me. And this one guy, he was like, he's like, yeah, women, they, they love flowers. So you got to buy them flowers. And the other guy was like, well, well, why do they like flowers? And he's like, I don't know. Women like flowers though. So we buy flowers for them. Right. And that was, and it was like a perfect demonstration of this, right? Like, I mean, yeah, it feels good to get gifts. It feels good to have somebody to know that somebody likes you and all that kind of stuff. And at the same time, the flower gift, it, whatever it means to women, I can assure you, it does not mean that to most men. For most men, they don't understand the flower thing. And it's not like they, it's, they don't particularly want flowers. My suggestion is that instead of kind of projecting that idea of men want flowers and then buying a guy flowers, that you, if you're going to buy a guy a gift, that you find out what it is that he actually likes, like actually talk to him, actually find out what are the things that he likes and find something in alignment with that. And preferably make it something that is consumable <laughs> or dies, right? Like that's one of the good things about flyer, flowers. If you buy flowers and she doesn't really like them, they die in, in a couple of days or whatever. And, it, you know, for, for most gifts, this is what I found is that you buy consumable gifts, like things like something to drink or something to eat or something that that isn't used in a little bit that way they're not trying to find a place to put things that they don't like and then you get all mad that he didn't like it and he hasn't put it up on his refrigerator or whatever the situation is and the other one is go read the love languages book there's a book called the five love languages and my suggestion is that you read that book because it's got a lot of really good information in there and it's a really good story i've read it before it's great and and the other one is watch what he does with you. And this is going back to what we were talking about before, where I was saying that people do to other people what they want done to them, right? And so like if he's like, you know, touching you in certain ways, that's probably how he wants to be touched. If he acts a certain way around you, right? Which is, which is one of the reasons why I think you should go read the Love Languages book, because it teaches you about how people express love and what kind of love they're interested in. And that's the best way to go about it, in my personal opinion.